Criminology is understanding in a really critical way uh, crime and how we control crime. What counts as a crime, how that's changed historically over time and place, and how we deal with crime. I'm passionate about criminology because it is one of the most complex social problems that we've got to deal with in our society. And it approaches those problems from a range of different perspectives. So I'm a historian, I bring my historical perspective to bear on those social problems. We also have lawyers, people who are psychologists, people who are trained explicitly in criminology, and we all bring that interdisciplinary focus to bear on these really complicated social problems. A master's course really is a transition from undergraduate to postgraduate work. It allows you to move from being basically a consumer of knowledge to being a contributor to knowledge. So you get really highly advanced skills in critical analysis and you can start to think uh, in an original way about how you might contribute to solving these complex social problems around crime and crime control. It's an expansive program that focuses largely on global crime, transnational perspectives, but also is very locally grounded through our internship program. So it gives students the capacity to work between the local and the global, and to think about theory and practice. The staff in criminology are quite interdisciplinary, so the benefit for students is that they get to interact with people who are lawyers, people who've been psychologists, people who've worked in the field in a range of criminal justice um, professions, people like myself as historians, get a whole range of interactions with staff. The networking opportunities are available through contact with other students who come from different parts of Australia, different parts of the world. So there's networking opportunities on a social level, but also for employment opportunities down the track. So through contacts, for example, with fellow students who might have worked in the police force in Pakistan or in Mauritius, others who've worked in the criminal justice system in Japan, all of these opportunities are valuable for students. There's sort of three trajectories people can take when they finish. One is to do further research. So if you do well enough in your coursework studies, you qualify to do a PhD degree. And that's if you want to work in universities, in an academic department like in criminology. If you don't want to go on to do further research, you can work in policy areas, which largely takes you into government, state, federal, government uh, or international arenas. You can work in relation to policy. A lot of that is to do around global criminology, the kinds of concerns that our course is focused on. The other option is to work on the ground in a criminal justice or social justice agency. So that's often working much more with people who are involved in the criminal justice system. And you might work with the Department of Human Services, you might work with courts, you might work on the ground through the police force, a whole range of agencies where you're very practically involved with the interface between uh, the state and criminal justice.